Yes, sir. What is going on, YouTube? It is your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, and we are back at it with another YouTube video, man. So, as you guys can tell from the title in today's video, we are going to be searching for a new project slash daily for the channel. Now, as a lot of you guys know, I am currently dailying the G35 six speed since it's been summertime and the weather has been nice. The only problem is I'm getting a little bit sick and tired of paying that VQ tax. Now, what do I mean by VQ tax? Uh, well, you know, the oil consumption is one thing, keeping an eye on the oil, topping it up when needed. But the main thing that I am talking about is that premium gas. Now, I know a lot of guys Say they can run 87 in their car with no issues, but I'll be damned if I'm putting 87 octane in that car. Uh, so what we're going to do for today's video is just jump on Kijiji. I got a couple of different cars that I want to search through, uh, mainly gas savers, but also cars that could potentially uh, be projects on the channel. You guys know I do own the Pontiac Montana minivan. Now I can drive that, but that thing really is no better on gas than the G35. It's just an absolute pig and I want something that I you know we can make videos for on the channel now we've been doing G35 content for quite a few years so I think uh, bringing a newer car or platform onto the channel at this point would definitely be a good idea uh, so first and foremost not really sure how I'm gonna do this I am recording uh, with a screen recorder on my cell phone so I'm not sure if I'm gonna do like a picture-in-picture -picture or just overlay as we're searching for the cars but as a lot of you guys know me uh, know the channel started out with Ultima videos so first and foremost I'm gonna search for a Ultima 2.5 manual now I had one of my buddies say that the VQs get uh, better if not closer gas mileage than the 2.5s the only thing is you know that uh, that premium gas is definitely not gonna have to go into this car so I'm gonna just search and then filter filter the results here now I don't want to spend any more than five grand you know at the lowest point I want to spend about 2500 but at the very highest I'm thinking about $5,000, uh, 4,500 preferably. So we're gonna go ahead and update that and see what is left. Now I am searching in the greater Toronto area since that's where I am. Uh, so it looks like we have seven 2.5 manual Altimas. Now I preferably would like a third gen, that being a 2006 to, uh, sorry, 03 to 06. Now as you can see, there's a 08 3.5 SE, it looks like an 08 coupe here I do like the coupes but I'm, I'm just a sucker for a third gen man I do have plans if I do buy a 2.5 to completely convert it to an SER which I know a lot of guys are gonna hate me for but hey man that you know that's what this channel is known for and in my opinion that's really what's gonna get the views. so it looks like we don't have any third gens I'm just gonna go ahead and type in manual Ultima since I don't really have my heart set on a 2.5, I would like one, but if I can find a 3.5 manual, I guess that will do as well. Now, like I say, third gen, what I'm looking for, looks like we got a 02 3.5 five speed. Now, preferably, I would like to see a 05 to 06 because if I were to do the SER conversion, it would be a hell of a lot less work, whereas if I got an 02, uh, 02 to 04, I believe, you know, it's just, uh, we're going to have to swap out quite a bit more. So I don't know why these are so small here, but like I say, this one probably not going to be the one, even though it does have low kilometers. What are the kilometers on this thing here? Uh, it does say 157 with a manual. Unfortunately, this is going to be a 3.5. So not exactly what I'm after. But, uh, you know, nice to know that there's something like that out there. Now, here we have the 05 Altima SER for five grand, 164,000 kilometers. Now, I know a lot of guys on the channel will probably ask, why don't I just get an Altima SER if I'm planning on just swapping all the parts over anyways? And a lot of it just comes down to, like I say, that VQ tax. Um, you know, I'm just sick of putting premium in my car. And if I got a VQ with the, you know, the way that they run, uh, you're going to have to put in premium as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but this one, 3.5 SER, 164,000 kilometers, which is definitely good. 
uh, resonate, resonator delete message, uh, 5,000 might be willing to trade for something out there. Uh, how about a Pontiac Montana, man? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, definitely like that SER. Looks like we have a sheer silver, another one for $5,000 here. This one, SER, definitely looks nice. I like the way this one's looking. SER, what are we looking at? 320,000 kilometers. We're just going to go ahead and pass on that one, it looks like. And that's just about all the Altimas that we have here that are manual. Uh, so SER is definitely nice. Now, another one that I was thinking of getting, keeping it in the Nissan family, would be a manual Sentra. Now, I don't really have a specific year that I'm looking for on this car. I would like to get a legit SER if I was getting a Sentra. I just think, you know, making videos on a legit SER would be pretty cool. Now, it looks like we have a 09 for 3,500. We're going to go ahead and pass on that one. An 08 with 196 for five grand. Man, these things are like even more expensive than Altima's. And that's about all we got for five grand here. 35 man that kind of sucks i almost want to put the price down a little bit but i'm also i also don't want to do that uh so manual centra is not too much out there you know what what i am going to do is lower the price down because i feel like there's probably quite a few more centras out there uh between 1500 and five grand so i'm going to go ahead and update our price here real quick and it looks like we don't have much more 08 looks like we got a 03 here 172,000 kilometers now this is definitely something right here that i would consider this is like the ideal car for me something with under 200,000 kilometers preferably 150,000 kilometers uh for like two and a half between two and three grand uh so not an ser but it looks like in relatively clean clean condition four bolt uh, lug pattern on here. I mean this this right here would be ideal now with the SER I think we're getting a 2.5 liter engine as opposed to the 1.8 But I know the 1.8s still relatively decent cars. So we're gonna go ahead. Can I favorite it? Heart we're gonna go ahead and heart this one just because that's uh, one that I really do like uh, the Nissan Sentra Special Edition, $2,000. How many kilometers are on this one? It's got the upgraded front grille. This would be really easy to convert into an SER. This one's 2006 manual, 114,000 kilometers. So that is definitely good for the price. Uh, it's in Caledon, which is close to me, $2,000. I mean, that's a pretty good price. The fact that it's manual with the upgraded front bumper, I do like. Uh, it says it has an oil leak, power windows, winter and summer tires. We're going to go ahead and heart that one as well. I really do like the looks of that car. And then we got the $5,000 uh, Sentras. So a few different options as far as Sentras. Now, keeping with the same family, uh, my next car is... Probably one of the original G, uh, Infinity G sedans, and that is the Infinity G20. I'm going to search for manual, even though there's probably not going to be too many manuals. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of automatics out there. But the reason I want a manual is if I'm going to be daily in this thing, I want, I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be getting rusty if I'm not driving the G35 for days and days at a time. Now, it looks like we have only one G20, G20 Infinity uh, manual for sale that is in our price range here. This one is in Pickering, which is a little bit of a mission. Nice blue color there, has the gold wheels. So it looks like this guy's off to a little bit of a start. As far as modding, now I wouldn't mind getting a stock car. Are those SER seats? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting a stock, far, a stock car as far as modifications go, simply so that I can do the things that I want to do myself. But this one right here definitely looks pretty nice. I do like the look of it with the gold wheels. You know me, I'm a fan. Ooh, those kilometers though, 315,000 kilometers. That is a little bit more than I'm willing to pay. I'm going to go ahead and search G20 without the manual and see how many automatic G20s are out there in our price range. Now, like I say, definitely want to get a manual. Oh, we got a cube van out there. Um, 
Definitely want to get a manual daily, so doesn't look like there's any G20 Infinities in our price range. Now, another nice Infinity, still a VQ or a VG, uh, which not ideal, but if I can find one uh, for the right price and manual, it would definitely be a nice car, and that is the Infinity i30 now the i35s have the vq35 the i30 i believe has the vg30 if i'm not mistaken uh definitely a little bit different than the vq doesn't burn quite as much oil and from what i understand uh you know they're pretty well bulletproof now it looks like we have audis popping up bmws uh hyundai accents doesn't look like we have any i30s in our price range what i think i'm gonna do is go back here and type in infinity infinity i30 see what pops up here and it doesn't look like we have any i30s in the toronto uh, greater toronto area which is crazy maybe we will try a infinity i35 even though i don't want to vq this thing's essentially a third gen no fifth gen maxima i just want to see if there's anything out there definitely a lot more i30s uh g35s we got a o2 infinity um let's have a look at this one two grand it looks like from mississauga I'm mostly worried about the kilometers with this vehicle right here. Looks like 230 automatic. Not really into that. The kilometers are too high. It's just, you know, it's an automatic. Uh, you know, I, I'm not too into the i35, so I think I'm done searching for those. Kind of sucks that there was no i30s out there, man. I was expecting to see at least a couple. Um, next up is a fun one. Now, obviously not nearly as cool as an Altima, a Sentra, a G20, but uh, still a Nissan, and that is going to be the Nissan Versa in manual so i'm gonna go ahead type that in here and see what pops up now one of the reasons that i wouldn't mind driving a nissan versa obviously relatively cheap easy to maintain and it's a hatchback which will still give me a whole lot of options as far as getting car parts around picking up furniture just random tires and stuff like that that you use uh, for hauling now it looks like we got a couple versas a little bit pricey if i was going to get a versa i wouldn't want to spend any more than about two grand but it looks like we do have a couple options now i do like the black here what are our kilometers looking 115,000 kilometers that's pretty good uh what would you guys think if i got a versa and started making uh videos on it now as you guys can see you know not the not the the coolest car but nonetheless a manual would most certainly be a fuel saver which is what i'm looking for uh first and foremost and i saw a couple verses out there that were for sale a few weeks ago uh, a couple lowered ones and to be honest they're if you lower them and put a nice set of wheels on them they actually don't look entirely terrible now this one is for 1500 got those ugly steelies which would have to go uh what are kilometers 229,000. the price is right uh but those kilometers are just a little bit too much for me so we're gonna go ahead and pass on that one now for the verses we got a lot of sub four grand cars but i'm looking for something that's a little bit cheaper needs exhaust work i'm not looking for something that needs work for two and a half thousand dollars now it seems like a lot of these nissan versas are relatively newer which is why we're seeing these high prices now it looks like we have a 2012 versa here new arrival sold by a dealership now i do like buying from dealerships because a lot of the times you can get these things certified and e-tested uh, looks like this one is in Toronto, not a hatchback, which that's a deal breaker for me. If I was going to get a Versa, it would have to be a hatchback. The sedan's just super ugly, uh, so I'm not even going to look at that one. Now, like I say, I do like buying for dealers because more often uh, than not, you can get them certified, e-tested, and they'll also go to the ministry and deal with all the paperwork and plate it for you. Uh, obviously, you know, a lot of people don't really like buying from dealerships because there's, you know the stigma that a lot of dealerships will rip you off or try to put one over on you uh, but in my opinion that's usually not the case a lot of dealerships will try to uh, protect their reputation whereas if you get a personal or a 
private seller a lot of those guys just don't give a crap they're just trying to pawn something off it's it's hit or miss you really gotta be a judge for yourself um so not too many verses out there now Switching out of the Nissan game, probably the only other company that I would want to daily or make videos of on the channel is Honda. So I am going to search in manual Civic. Now I am looking for specifically an 8th generation Civic 06 and up. Um, I believe 06 to 08 is the 8th generation body style. My girlfriend has one, 1 1.8 automatic. But man, that car has been nothing but great throughout the whole time of her owning it. Um, so I, you know, I just that's something that I would definitely uh, be interested in buying. Now, looks like we have quite a few options, almost 200, over 200 options here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and type in year 06, 2006 to 2008. And we're going to go ahead and see what pops up here. Now, I am a sedan guy. I always have been a sedan guy. So if I were to get a Honda Civic, it would most certainly be a sedan. Now, as you can see, a lot more options here as far as Honda goes. For some reason, manual Nissans, uh, relatively hard to come by as you guys can see. But it looks like we have a ton of manual Civics here. This one, black uh very nice now if i were to get a civic what i would want to do is oh 298,000 next uh what i would want to do if i were to get a honda civic was do a complete csx uh body swap on it meaning front bumpers headlights um rear bumper tail lights pretty much the interior if i can now what i would want to do is obviously buy the civic and then see if i can find a csx uh, you know, that's either a part out or a whole car that's been crashed. That way I can just get the car to my place, rip as many parts off of it as I need, and then swap the body panels and then sell what's left. Uh, this one is a coupe, so we are going to pass on that. Looks like we have the five-speed as is... 2008 4500 now for a civic because these are a dime a dozen i'm thinking like you know i don't want to spend any more than three grand on a civic there's so many out there there's so many options it's just it's not something that i really see myself spending a whole lot of money on and if the price is right low kilometers it's something that i could definitely see myself dailying this one here we got a 07 2500 over 260,000 kilometers though, so that's definitely going to be a problem. One thing I'm noticing with Civics and Toyotas especially, they hold their value like you wouldn't believe. I mean, as you can see, you can find a lot of Nissans with lower kilometers for a relatively good price. But when it comes to Hondas, um, you're going to be spending at around 10 grand for something with under 100,000 kilometers, which is just the normal. You have to expect that with these Hondas, man. Uh, very popular. You know great on gas easy to maintain now this one right here specifically looks very clean i'm hoping this is going to be a low kilometer car 284,000 kilometers see what i'm talking about almost three grand for almost a car with almost 300,000 kilometers on it uh but you guys get the idea H -gen, eighth gen civic four door um this is a car that I'm going to have to do quite a bit more research. Let me know, would you guys rather me uh, daily a Nissan Versa or G20 or, you know, would you guys be cool with me getting a Honda Civic? This one here, 07 uh, certified, which is one of those things that I like. You just pay the money, get the plates, and go. Price is a little high for what I would like. Almost $4,000, but are the kilometers still 192,000 kilometers that's pretty high for a car that I'm going to be dailying. You know, on my van, I've put over 50,000 kilometers on the thing since I've got it, which is absolutely ridiculous. So I'm going to need something with at least 150,000 clicks on it here. Um, what I'm thinking I'm going to do next up is filter our results back here. What I think I'm going to probably do is just keep it moving here. You know, since there's a ton of Civics out there, if when I get to really uh, buckling down, which is usually going to happen when I'm sitting on that couch behind me, is when I'm really going to take a better look at some of these cars. Now, another one of my options that I wouldn't mind purchasing 
obviously as you guys can see is an Acura RSX. I've always loved the RSXs. Uh, some people say that it's a chick car which I you know may agree with on certain circumstances but when these cars are done right absolutely mint. Now these things from what I understand come in with a K20 motor. Uh, you can get the Type S or the base model prefer the Type S but a base model would do now as you can see we're still running into that Honda premium manual 280,000 kilometers like I say these Hondas definitely holding their value a lot more than a Nissan which don't get me wrong that's why I'm a Nissan guy because you get a lot for your money man a good bang for your buck oh, battery just died on the camera there now I believe these things have the base model K20 on it I actually just got a grill, so I'm going to be doing a partial front end conversion. Going to see if we can get the grill on there. Uh, but I mean, for the if I could find a CSX for the right price, low kilometers in manual, I would for sure jump on that in a heartbeat. Looks like we have a manual silver CSX. Um, I, this is really what I want to do to my girlfriend's 8th gen. She has a silver uh, Honda Civic, and I mean, this would be perfect right here. Now, the price... $2,600 for a car with 147,000 kilometers. This is the ideal purchase right here. It looks like 2007 silver CSX. Um, not too much information about the car. Posted by Lee and Cars. Da, da, da. First owner, so important, no accidents, also so important. Um, so this this right here is the ideal car. I'm gonna go ahead and favorite this one. Only a couple cars that we favorited in this video, uh, but that is definitely one that I may even go and look at in the next couple of days. A little bit more than I would have liked to to spend. You know, I'm a cheapskate. I'm like 2,500, three grand, but the kilometers on that one that's definitely worth checking out. Looks like we have a 07. Uh, that price is a little too much. Price reduced, Acura, fully loaded. 08 on this one. Let's check this out. See what we've got as far as kilometers. 320,000. Now that's just way too much for me. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pass on that one. Here it looks like we got a 08 with 140,000 kilometers. And it does have the VTEC K20 swapped into it. Which is pretty impressive. Tech package here. Uh, looks like it has RSX wheels already. A nice leather interior. 08 sedan. 233 on the body. Looks like 140,000 on the new motor. Swapped the K20 VTEC in 2017. Um, the body has a little more kilometers on it than I would have liked. But nonetheless, that is... A pretty good car and if it does have the VTEC motor swapped in it that's that's not a bad price I can't lie 3200 and it looks like that's about it for the Acura CSX's um, so with that said I think we're probably gonna put an end to this video I'm sure it's gonna be around 20 minutes if not longer uh, with searching all these cars so as you guys can see these are my selections for vehicles that I would want to daily and also make videos of on the channel now I really desperately want to buy another Altima 2.5 do an SER conversion I just love the look of the SERs I would like to have the look of an SER minus the VQ tax that being the oil and that premium gas uh, runner up I think would probably be a Nissan Sentra. I'm a big fan of the Sentras. Uh, keep it in the Nissan family. A G20 would also be very dope. That way we could still rep that SoCal G. Slap some stickers on there. Oh, shout out SoCal G, by the way. Link to their Instagram will be down in the description, man. Check out the website. Guess Get some fresh gear. Get yourself some lanyards. Some, I'm not wearing the SoCal G shirt today, but get yourself some gear. Um, and then obviously Honda's, I wouldn't mind an 8th gen Civic, but that CSX for $2,600, I might have to go have a look at that thing and see what's up, man, because uh, the price is right, the kilometers are right, and uh, that would save me the hassle of converting an 8th gen Civic over to a CSX. 
But I'm thinking we are probably going to put an end to this video. If you guys did enjoy this little style of video vlog, not really sure how it's going to work out with the picture and picture or whatever I'm going to be doing with that. Kind of my first time doing a video like this. Um, and if you guys have any suggestions for reliable dailies, gas savers, cheap to maintain those are like the criteria you guys know my price range you guys know the kilometers that i'm looking uh the range of kilometers i'm looking for uh so yeah with that being said i am your boy denali aka don squally whoo i am out of breath i need to go get myself a little drink so with that being said we're gonna catch y'all mofos at the next one man